तो मैं इतनी फाइन लागे नहीं लगे हमारा कबाल आकर Hello friends uh, good evening i am umaima and today we'll be talking about how marketing changed during covid times and which industry saw a boom and uh, which industries that saw a decline okay so to discuss the same i have with me the brilliant sneha bilara uh, she is a coo and uh, co-founder of digenius solutions and uh, sneha has been in the digital marketing space since past 12 years and uh, now she has started with her own digital marketing firm Welcome Sneha. Good evening. How are you doing? Hi, hi, Umaima. I'm good. How are you? I'm glad. To I'm be fine. Ah, uh, Sneha, even I am super pumped and excited, you know, to be discussing this topic with you because that yeah. the topic that we are going to talk about it's really interesting. At the same time, it is very trending, right? So, how do you think that COVID nineteen has changed social media patterns? You know, it feels so silly. to show how happy to show how happy stories are in a pandemic so it's surprising that in order to somehow be together safely we had to be apart and the only means we were connected during the pandemic situation was via social media so exactly yeah exactly yeah so it's 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 whole another world right now you know what we were before the pandemic and what we are right now it's indeed the truth now yeah. and obviously during the pandemic you know people were forced to change their behavior patterns suddenly so yeah. um how do you think it affected the corporate world so yes the sudden change was actually a building block of the new era of marketing and it has affected the corporate world like to a great extent in terms of the management in terms of operations and you know awareness so uh, it's like a it's it's critical for business leaders to understand the large scale uh, shift of the pendulum of people how businesses get done covid 19 has forced people to observe a long term pattern to one extreme you know so there are many patterns which led to the shift so basically and also it has affected you know it has affected big time like uh, uh because of you know the pandemic situation there are increase of working hours due to the work from home situation previously when we used to go to office so we had fixed set of time you know and everything was very organized but because of the shift people are working for very long hours you know they don't have so do them. you think that is it has made you know uh, the uh, working hours also very flexible it so, you know i mean in a way it has and in a way you don't have enough family time as well you know because there is no track of time now because you're full time in the house and you're full time only thinking about work your work and you're only working but then they also give to you a liberty you know to work at your own convenient time yeah so there are pros and cons exactly. and also, uh meeting now meeting people has become online before it was you know we used to meet people physically when even when for our client meetings or even any any of our uh, official meetings it was always physical you know the interactions were very uh were very one on one or you know group interactions now everything is online because uh, you know we are restricted and uh, you know the environment has changed now you know people are not meeting face to face we've just started but still uh, you know there is a lot of hesitation in meeting people even now like even for me uh when i go out or suppose if if it's an urgent client meeting i have to go means i have to go but uh, i back in my mind i'm still scared you know and uh, so and even for my with my teammates like no matter you know we've started the organization during the pandemic i have not met half of my employees it is so restricted i mean you know we've just interacted online 
and uh, the face to face i do miss face to face but it's for our own safety okay so uh, sneha as you mentioned the operations have changed can you please elaborate how you function in dg near solutions and what are the skills that you have incorporated for the smooth functioning uh, of the operation in dg near solutions so oh, oh, mama during my previous uh, you know wherever i worked in my previous organization as an employee so i had observed that there were a lot of uh, you know mismanagement because nothing was streamlined i mean even if there was a shift in an employee or a shift in a project it used to take us for a uh, it used to take us a while to get adjusted with you know with a certain things with a certain protocols so i wanted to avoid all of those situations so we incorporated a project management software so in order to be you know very organized you know i i just made sure that this has to be there of course i did a lot of research uh, before starting my before before you know getting any project management software in my system uh, but um, it happened and now uh, we've made sure you know even our when our clients are coming on board or present clients any of you know whoever has come on board we've made sure even the clients are involved in our project management software so that they know what's happening in their project no everything is very streamlined so and also everything is recorded also that way yes everything is recorded everything is on track and it helps my employees to do a very lesser uh, manual work you know because it becomes very automated as a part of dgs team yes i confirm and i also have realized that it has helped a lot you know in managing our day to day task yes yeah uh, moving on sneha as a digital marketing specialist do you think we have seen a shift from traditional marketing and television com- commercials to digital marketing yes indeed there's a drastic uh, you know shift from traditional to uh, you know the digital marketing uh, so traditional marketing was very uh, so there were so in traditional marketing there are a lot of factors so we have our outdoor media we have uh, we have television commercials uh, so these were the two main traditional and telemarketing of course so for uh, for product based uh, sector we had telemarketing but uh, you know there was you know it's a very broader uh, it's a very broader concept like suppose for example if um, if you don't like a particular product which is marketed on uh, commercials or on outdoor you will not take interest in even looking at it because it's it's not of your interest uh, so you know so it's it's like uh, chala to chala but uh, it's not something that you know it's concrete but whereas in uh, you know in digital marketing uh, you have a specific target uh, you know target audiences who you target because because of the algorithms and because of a lot of factors the tech factors so you know that helps for any consumer to look at something what they would have interest in and you know uh, so this is like one of the these are few reasons why there was a dynamic shift from traditional to digital marketing and of course there were many platforms uh, there are there's instagram facebook now facebook has generally been now facebook is more of uh, you know facebook has become more of ads facebook has become more business than social yeah. media now so instagram even instagram now has become a means of uh, brand uh, spreading the brand awareness yes and facebook many had had- yes it has also helped many small scale uh, you know businesses and industries to grow uh, instagram yes. so how it started uh, so before way back there was okut for social media somehow okut phased out there was facebook so facebook was mainly to you know hang out online to connect with people slowly slowly facebook got into the business uh, mode it got into the brand awareness mode then uh, suddenly there was a shift from facebook because facebook became very monotonous suddenly there was a shift from facebook to instagram instagram uh, instagram picked up uh, of course it was acquired by facebook 
Instagram picked up very well. Then Instagram became the means of you know uh, getting connected to the people to people and you know showcasing what you did the entire day and etc. etc. So then Facebook became like a uh, became more for businesses for ads for showcasing your services for your products. Now Insta it's Instagram is is in it's 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 lit basically. So. Uh, but now uh, you know there's a lot of change in the algorithms now people have started the businesses have started uh, shifting their interest from facebook to instagram as well and there is a lot of brand awareness building awareness on instagram so now instagram on top facebook <laughs> second and the rest goes on you know it's it's that way yes so how is it more effective in reaching a consumer digitally so more than 80% of the consumer interaction are addressed without any human agents now because it's digital uh which indicates that what customers are getting used to for learning is like it's it's different so digital tools like chatbots on your website and even as even the interactive ads they are becoming the key players in uh, you, you know in getting engaged with the consumers real time so like approx 74 to 75% people who are likely to choose different brand they find the purchasing process too difficult you know one way to avoid the risk is to serve digital ads digital ads reason brand awareness uh, with clear call to action buttons and sends them right to the purchase option like you know so if for example if uh, if you if you like a product but if uh, but the e commerce suppose if it's showcased on a e commerce website amazon is a totally different platform but there are many e there are many products which they have which they have their own e commerce website so if you go to one of those e commerce products or website to buy your product but if uh, your user experience is not that friendly if the website is not that friendly the consumer may may not just purchase your product because he is reluctant why because he is not user he is not for not finding it friendly to purchase the product you know so that also makes hell lot of difference you know when uh, when it comes to you know having such kind of tools and having such kind of platforms digitally okay so uh, that that's really insightful uh, sneha and how does it open the door for advanced targeting so uh, digital marketing offers you know ways to target unique and specific audiences and uh, demographics compared to the traditional media while traditional methods focus as i mentioned earlier focus on reaching the broad audiences which are not targeted which are not targeted as per the interest and it's it's like it's targeted large volumes of people but digital is able to have you know a lot of refined target specific audiences uh that that is interested in searching your product or services what you want but because it's more refined and you know because of the algorithms again you know it becomes more easier for facebook or instagram to search what you like so uh moving from traditional to digital marketing you know brands are able to target on multiple levels from you know from right from basics like age location educational qualification your lifestyle everything it tracks everything you know social media has a record of everything you like yes, your your preferences hobbies wants needs yes, everything everything so what even if you've seen some particular ad it tracks it and it shows you the similar yes. ad you know similar ad yes yeah so so traditional marketing cannot be digital marketing at least in this time Yes. Okay. So post the pandemic, according to you, Sneha, uh, should work from home still be continued, or should we adopt, uh, you know, to the um, uh, hybrid style of working? What are so, your thoughts on this? So see, as uh, I am in charge of uh, the operations in DG New Solutions and the unconventionals, uh, you know, it there are pros and cons basically, uh, but. let's uh, let's first figure out that you know which which sector or which uh, which uh, you know basically 
who should go who should go physically to start go to work you know so for example if you are into banking sector you are a government personnel or you are into medical sector so it's it's mandatory for you to go and actually go to work you know because you cannot avoid it it's unavoidable even during the pandemic situation um you know the banking sector and the medical and you know medical uh, staff everyone were on their toes and you know hats off to them you know they risked their lives to you know serve us but whereas the it sector digital agencies the corporate sector wherein um, it took a while it took around you know a 3 to 4 months to adapt the work from home culture but now it's been more than a year it's working smoothly almost two years now they've been functioning very smoothly so yes. uh, you know even for me uh, what i have planned in the longer run uh, that uh, i'm not going to i we are not going to start immediately we're going to take it phase wise like uh, first we're going to introduce a hybrid style of working like coming to work like couple of days uh, then slowly slowly we're going to do the transition right from work from home to the uh, you know the entire corporate journey like what we had before pandemic so that's the plan okay that's great news uh, you have also started a new venture called the unconventional can you elaborate a little about that to our viewers okay so how it started so me and my co-founder who is also uh, who is also my husband kohen balara uh, we were just uh, you know one on a sunday we were just going through the social media during now i am talking about during the pandemic time so uh, we were just scrolling through social media and there was only negative news there was nothing positive on social media. Uh, just just back too much of negativity during that time yes yes even now too much of bad news and too many sad stories even for the reality shows these days you know um, unless and until you don't have a sad story you don't get selected it's a way to feel, uh, gain sympathy exactly so so you uh, you know so it just came in our mind that why not start something which is more positive which is more inspiring which which can help people get over the sadness or just you know a break from the sadness on social media so uh, so the idea was to share it's it's not it's not uh, something what humans of bombay offers it is something to share people's common people's success stories like how they've achieved a lot how they struggled but not in a sad way of course more positively so that an aspiring person now for example if uh, if we share a story of a lawyer so how did he reach the success uh, what were uh, uh, you know what what factors led to his success i of course you know hurdles do come but how did he overcome everything and how did he reach the ladder of success that is something which i want to showcase basically okay. yeah wow that so thoughtful of you sneha seriously yeah. and i'm sure never, yeah and you never know after uh, you know after reading the success story or the positive story that other person does get inspired and you know looks up to that person who's achieved a lot yeah. you know this will be life change life changing you know for many who are looking for inspiring stories and positivity online i'm sure about this okay uh, so sneha i would like to know uh, which is your favorite social media platform and why i know you have answered that but yeah so okay so see i'll i'll just tell you a few of the social media platforms that i'm really active i'm active on insta insta is number one for me uh, so i'll i'll exp- i'll elaborate a little on the social media uh, like which social media is good for what you know what's what's the main role of that platform uh so uh, firstly is instagram instagram is you know it's for as as a digital marketing person i would say instagram is number one for your brand awareness if it's a startup you have to have the brand awareness when you go online on instagram if you don't showcase your products over there or if you don't have the awareness i doubt people will believe you because there is so much of data that you have to stand out the crowd so i um 
so for example uh, suppose if if it's a startup brand and it wants the, that kind of brand awareness uh, on social media how will you showcase it so you need to have a set brand guidelines you need to have a website you need to you need you need that kind of you know uh, how do i say you need to put the brand on the map and instagram helps you to do that secondly comes your facebook okay so instagram facebook are hand in hand so suppose if you are running ads if you have a online shop you can do that on facebook you can make your online store on facebook and you can you know it's it's connected to instagram and you know you run facebook ads that goes on face instagram as well so that helps that helps your brand to get more and more roi yeah. because you know as organic you know organic reach is important but at the same time seeing the current scenario where there is a lot of data online you have to have paid marketing as well then your third platform is youtube youtube is youtube is everything youtube is your pastime favorite you know where if you want to um if you just want to listen to some good music or everything you know you, you can go to youtube and as well as it is uh it is a very good means to run your skippable ads you can run your performance you can uh, have lead generation you can uh, you know give awareness because youtube i think 80% of the users have youtube and you know where are there are, there are very few people who actually own a youtube premium account so you have to watch those ads whilst you watch those ads you get you know a lot of brand awareness for a particular brand that helps a lot the fourth one is one of uh, my partner's favorite is pinterest pink yes so um i remember he he uh, when he came last online on pod on insta live he had said in pinterest is everything so right from your designs and you know being a being into a creative agency you have to do a lot of referencing yes, so a lot of it yes you get a lot of ideas from uh, pinterest yeah it's one of the uh, you know i i feel that that is one of the greatest platforms if you need yes. to find for good ideas yes absolutely yes, you know you get a lot of design ideas you know to enhance your creativity on pinterest the it's 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 really good you know especially uh, for any anyone who's into creativity and uh, of course tiktok is banned now in india but uh, tiktok helped a lot of influencers you know go in the on the map but of course now we have instagram reels reels have yeah. mass reach all the tiktokers they have now shifted to instagram yeah. yes yeah, especially in india you know because so uh, you know i have seen so many influencers they keep making reels and it's become a means of uh, getting revenue if you are an influencer Absolutely. if you have followers yes. you get paid for it so it's 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 really good you know you you uh, build your name on the map because of uh, you know reels yeah okay Uh, so now sneha uh, yeah. you know some of the businesses that uh, transformed due, due to covid 19 were yes. e-commerce websites yeah then then we had uh, this swiggy zomato then we had a uh, zoom um medical sector yes education sector yes. and there were certain businesses which were most affected due to covid 19 like Definitely. like uh, say um, travel and tourism import export retail travel- the industry got finished in the covid 19 yes. yes but now so, coming up we have even we have even work for a, a travel company the ticketing company which was in par with make my trip and they are doing pretty well you know i'm still in touch with them and uh, so, uh, so for that you know every business they have to have a web presence to reach yes. to out to its customers yes since like no one could meet uh, you know each other or have physical contact with each other during pandemic the only way was uh, being on the web yes so what was already strong grew st- stronger the brands which were already strong they grew much stronger due to covid because yes. they had their presence on social media and the very first sites which seized this opportunity i think was amazon 
yes yes definitely so i'll tell you what happened is um, so before the pandemic like uh, i am um, being uh, you know so i i love shopping so it was it was like a ritual going to the mall and shop and you know shopping and everything so um after the pandemics it, we were helpless we could not go the malls were shut it affected you know a lot of businesses who were there in the mall because uh, i think the last thing to open even now like even now if if you're not fully vaccinated you cannot enter a mall yeah 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 you they don't allow you yes yes so um so a lot of uh, you know a lot of brands suffered huge losses because they had to pay the rent they had to uh, you know be there you know uh, you know they were not selling anything so after the online after the pandemic the most of the brands shifted their physical store to online store and they did well because you know being being a first who loves to shop i would love to uh, you know go and buy a particular brand which unfortunately i cannot go physically and buy and there were a lot of flexibility you know suppose for example of course initially there were times that you know we could not exchange anything or whatever but now it's getting better now yes 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 if you don't like it you can get it exchanged at just uh, no on a tap of a button so it's it's become very easy yes. okay so now do you think that brands with great reputations and goodwill also require digital marketing since the pandemic has affected them they need so so it's for them it's not brand awareness for them it's the sustenance to be there on yes. the competitive it's, it's the competition the competition yes. now um a brand uh, okay so for example a brand like durex i was just going to they they actually put they actually put a uh a a carousel for the best ads they've uh, they've you know for the best creatives they've made the entire year and they were so funny you know especially now meme marketing meme marketing is in you yes know, that's very engaging you know that yeah. so i remember i remember this show on uh, on netflix uh, something for the wedding i forgot the name uh, the host was seema taparia okay so uh, match making something so how that uh, show got popularity is because there was a lot of negative mean marketing about that female so because there was a lot of mean marketing there was a lot of negative publicity people were actually thought people actually you know became curious ki what is there in that show and they actually watched the show <laughs> so you know meme marketing is something which is in and especially uh, you know there are many there are even many uh, agencies who are actually promoting meme marketing and they are getting a lot of revenue from that everything is uh, you know today everything is about generating revenue and you know getting yes, more popularity and engagement it's about generating revenue it's all about so what are the uh, latest digital marketing trends so there were many trends i would say uh, actually uh, i remember this party ho rahi hai and uh, you know there were many trending topics and uh, uh, when there when there was olympic and para olympics you know a lot of things were trending so the trend trend is something which is not uh, which is very constant it is not stable so if you if you see something that is trending today after yeah it might not trend yes in a day the trend changes absolutely so yes. you have to be very updated you know with the trend yes so list your favorite brand who are you think that you know who are using their digital space very well as i mentioned uh, durex is doing very well <laughs> and uh, so uh, then there is amul which is not that active though but they come up with something really creative anything that's trending they are there they are bang on and um, you know we like i'm i'm like all over social media but i keep seeing a lot of things but uh, these two i remember and also um, like let me think there are so many but i cannot read you think about zomato do don't you think that they yes. uh, use their yes. digital space oh, yes yes because you know even their festive topicals are so much uh, brand related yeah yeah and yeah they are super creative 
definitely definitely so yeah zomato as well so um thank you sneha uh, this has been a really insight uh, insightful conversation with you and from this conversation um i have gathered that digital marketing can help you grow dr- drastically by offering you target ma- marketing uh, reaching out to the right audience at the right time on the right platform okay yeah. and uh, with uh, the the uh, purchasing process is easy or uh, thank you sneha for being with us today uh, and sharing this amazing insight can we ask questions or something can we yeah, check sure. wants to ask any questions mm-hmm. uh i think one in the beginning someone has a- had asked the question i don't know one minute we'll just check no no there was no question i can't see it right in the beginning but anyways i think i think we should wrap up yeah uh so thank you so much for being with us and thank you everyone yeah thank you thank you fun thank you i hope uh, you know uh it was insightful I, thank you for being yes. Uh, yes it was very informative thank life. you very yeah. much thank you everyone bye bye have a nice day bye. have a nice day